Yes, sir. Okay. Shall we begin? Why not? Beautiful railway bridge of the Silvery Tay. Alas, I am very sorry to say that the 90 lives have been taken away on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. It was about 7 o'clock at night, and the wind it blew with all its might, and the rain came pouring down, and the dark clouds seemed to frown. And the demon of the air seemed to say, I'll go down the bridge of Tay. When the train left Edinburgh, the passengers' hats were light and felt no sorrow. But Boreas blew a terrific gale that made their hearts for to quail. And many of the passengers with fear did say, I hope God will send us safe across the bridge of Tay. But when the train came near to Worm and Bay, Boreas he did loud and angry pray, and shook the central girders on the bridge of Tay on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which was be remembered for a very long time. So the train sped on with all its might, and Bonnie Dundee soon hove in sight, and the passengers' hearts felt light, thinking they would enjoy themselves on the new year. With their friends at home they loved most dear, and wish them all a happy new year. So the train moved slowly across the bridge of Tay, until it was about midway. Then the central girders with a crash gave way, and down went the train and the passengers into the Tay. The storm fiend did loudly bray, because ninety lives had been taken away on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. As soon as the catastrophe came to be known, the alarm from mouth to mouth was blown, and the cry rang out over all the town, good heavens, the Tay Bridge is blown down. The passenger train from Edinburgh, which filled the people's hearts with sorrow, and made them for to turn pale, because none of the passengers were safe to tell the tale how the disaster happened on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. It must have been an awful sight to witness in the dusky moonlight. While the storm fiend did laugh and angry did bray along the railway bridge of the Silvery Tay. Oh, ill fated bridge of the Silvery Tay, I must now conclude my lay by telling the world fearlessly, without the least dismay, that your central girders would not have given way, at least many sensible men do say, had they been supported on each side with buttresses. At least many sensible men confesses. For the stronger we our houses do build, the less chance we have of being killed. <laughs> William Topaz McGonagall. Uh, announcement right until we finished as well. Brilliant. <laughs>